Every entrepreneur should be insanely focused on increasing their list of prospects and converting those prospects into customers. Know this, you'll never have more customers than you have names on a list. That's a fact. Acquiring the skill to find your perfect prospect, sell your products or service to that prospect and convert them into a customer that buys from you again and again should be the absolute focus of all your entrepreneurial activity. The greater clarity you have with who your perfect prospect is, the more focused and effective your marketing efforts will be. To identify what your perfect prospect looks like, you need to create a custom avatar. You may need to create more than one avatar, depending on the type of product and or services you provide. Now, to get your copy of my perfect avatar workbook totally free, just click the link below this video and it will help you with this process of creating an avatar. Think about this. You decide you're going to send traffic to your website using Facebook ads. But great idea, so far so good. However, your campaign is a disaster, which is not so good. It costs you a fortune in ad spend and you've got no new leads. Why? Because you targeted the wrong audience to show your ads to. Now, how did that happen? Well, simple. You haven't created a customer avatar. So you don't know who the ideal people to target are. You have to be crystal clear about who you're marketing to or else it's game over. Every entrepreneur is in the business of customer acquisition and satisfaction in some way, shape or form. And as an entrepreneur, the most important activity you can do is to clearly identify the very best prospects for your products or services. Then focus all your marketing, advertising and sales efforts on doing business with that particular type of prospect. Remember to get your copy of my perfect avatar workbook totally free. Just click the link below this video. So here are six key tips to help you find your business's ideal prospects. Number one, look at your product or service from your prospects point of view. What does your product do for your ideal prospect? What wants and needs does your product meet for your prospect? How does your product improve your prospect's life or work? Number two, define your ideal prospect for the products or services you sell. Include age, education, occupation or business. What's their income or financial status? What's their situation in life or work right now? Number three, identify the specific benefits your prospect thinks they'll get if they buy your product or service. Then take the most important benefits and use those in your marketing and sales conversations. And use those benefits to create your POD, that is your point of difference. In other words, why your prospects should buy from you rather than from your competition. Number four, determine the location of your prospects. Where are your prospects located geographically? Where do your prospects live or work? And where is your prospect when they buy your product or service? Number five, identify exactly when your ideal prospect buys your product or service. What has to happen in the life or work of your prospects for them to buy your product? What time of year, season, month or week is your prospect likely to buy? And number six, find out what your prospect's buying strategy is. How does your prospect buy your product or service, for example, in an actual store or online? How has your prospect bought similar products or services to yours in the past? Hint, check out their social media posts for the hooray post that says, look what I just bought kind of thing. How does your prospect go about making a buying decision for your product? For example, are you selling a high ticket offer that they will have to think hard about before they buy? They're not just going to shell out 30 grand or something like that, all in one go straight away. What prospects are most likely to buy your product or service immediately? So for example, if you were selling something 30, 50 grand, do they need to be millionaires so that 30, 50 grand doesn't mean that much to them? Don't forget to look at your competition's customers. They give a seriously good indication of who you should be targeting. 
for example if your competition's got a facebook page then you would target in facebook ads all the people that like that page that would be a ser seriously smart thing to do most entrepreneurs aren't clear about their perfect prospect for this reason they waste a lot of time and money trying to sell to people who are never going to buy so your ability to clearly define and focus in on the prospects who will most rapidly buy your product or service will be critical to your business growth and success. By the way, my totally free perfect avatar workbook is in a fillable PDF format so you don't have to print it to use it. Just look at the examples I give you then type in your own information. To get your copy of my perfect avatar workbook just click the link below this video. Speak soon. Bye.